Will Ferrell and John C. Riley are one of the most dynamic comedy duos in Hollywood, having previously joined forces to split sides in Step Brothers and Talladega Nights, The Ballad of Ricky Bobby. Don't you stick that knife in your leg. But sadly, Farrell and Riley's latest venture, the Sherlock Holmes spoof Holmes and Watson, looks like a total bust. Professional critics and a horde of Twitter randos alike say the film is so bad that some audience members are leaving theaters before the credits roll, with some even requesting refunds. Directed by Tropic Thunder and Idiocracy co-writer Aton Cohen, Holmes and Watson opened on Christmas Day 2018, but wasn't screened to members of the media ahead of its wide launch. Once critics and fans actually feasted their eyes upon what ought to have been another hilarious Farrell Riley two-hander, things went sour fast. As of the making of this video, Holmes and Watson sits at a bleak 5% critical approval rating and 26% fan score on Rotten Tomatoes. One viewer wrote bluntly on Twitter, Holmes and Watson was the worst movie of all time. First movie I've ever walked out on. What? Were you saying something? Another random and rage moviegoer tweeted, Holmes and Watson is an absolute disaster. Had to wake up three other family members 40 minutes in just to walk out. Possibly overtakes Ishtar as worst movie of all time. Don't waste your money or time. That doesn't make sense. 1987's Ishtar, starring Warren Beatty and Dustin Hoffman, is widely considered to be one of the worst cinematic disasters ever, with Roger Ebert calling it at one time, quote, a lifeless, massive lumbering exercise in failed comedy. Do it. <laughs> So not exactly great company. Failing on a flick 40 minutes in is pretty bad, but it gets worse. A woman shared that she and her boyfriend walked out of Holmes and Watson 15 minutes in. Boyfriend's movie-choosing privileges are canceled. Yikes! So what went wrong? On paper, Holmes and Watson has everything going for it. Farrell and Riley playing goofy versions of Arthur Conan Doyle's classic characters, a talented screenwriter sitting in the director's seat, and a first-rate UK cast, including Ray Fiennes. In practice, however, nothing really worked. Critics have set aflame just about every aspect of Holmes and Watson, denouncing the lazy and out-of-control direction, the unfunny script that misses the mark as a parody, and all the heavy-handed references and jokes that completely fall flat. In his review, Newsday's Rafer Guzman described Holmes and Watson as, one of those movies that goes beyond unfunny and into a comedy cubisone, where jokes are no longer recognizable and laughter is philosophically impossible. Noel Murray of the Los Angeles Times was a bit nicer, calling the film more of a well-meaning misfire than a total train wreck, frustrating mainly because all these folks can do much better. Murray added that many of the actors look, quote, befuddled about what they're supposed to be doing, which is never a good sign. Peter Sobczynski from RogerEbert.com was far more brutal in his half-star review, writing, Holmes and Watson is so excruciatingly awful that you have to wonder what it was, other than their paychecks, that could have possessed the cast and crew to keep coming back each day, when it must have been obvious from the first day of shooting that the project was the most hopeless of cases imaginable. So if you're looking for a laugh, the answer appears elementary. Avoid Holmes and Watson at all costs. Yeah, no sh Sherlock! <laughs> Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.